Good morning guys. Like we said, we're gonna take off from the end of the last video. And if you haven't watched that, please click at this button right here. I'll put a link up below so you guys can go see yesterday's video. But today is fight night for Eric. It's gonna be a dope day. It's gonna be a sick day. It's gonna be a really busy day. Right now it's about 3 p.m. here in uh, Abu Dhabi. A lot of stuff happened this morning. We, we slept in finally for the first time. So we woke up at like 10, 30, 11 got some food, went to go get Eric some food. Just really busy, not enough time to kind of bring the camera and get everything done since, you know, you gotta go here, get your COVID test and go here, sign this paper. The buses are coming, it's just a shit show for the fight. It's not really like vlog worthy anyways, just a whole bunch of walking everywhere. So just gonna kind of break down what's gonna happen today so you guys have an idea of the storyline. I might not be able to bring the camera because I'm gonna be with Eric, I'm gonna be warming him up. I might do some grappling, might do some pads. There's gonna be a lot of fighters there. There's gonna be a lot of cameras there. So I don't wanna be bringing this camera and start causing a scene or do anything like that. So I'm not gonna be filming on this camera. I will film off my phone and that'll be the footage for the events after and kind of I'm gonna capture as much as I can. When I'm gonna be ringside while Eric walks out, again, I don't wanna be carrying this. There's gonna be a lot of, this is on Fight Network. I don't wanna be just taking this camera and start filming everything. So I'm just gonna use my phone. Eric's in the room. We just got him some food, some pre few before the fight so we're gonna get there at around like 4 30 and then we're gonna be stuck there until about 10 p.m. at night so we got to make sure that he is well hydrated and fueled up so we got some sweet potatoes that I ordered for him got just a plain piece of chicken and then we got some vegetables sorry not vegetables we got some fruit for a little later after the day just to kind of keep those glu glucose levels that glycogen kind of just always maintained up so then when it goes to the fight it's good to go that's what he likes to do this is not for all fighters this is just for Eric this is what he likes this is what works with him, so this is what we're gonna keep. This is the schedule that I kinda just helped him plan and I got what he needed, so we're all set, everything's gonna be good. We're gonna pack our bag right now because we're gonna leave soon. We're gonna head to the arena and then see what the plan is from there. But that's it, and then after the fight, of course, we get that W. We're gonna see what Eric wants to do. He wants to do a couple of things. It's it's his day, it's fight day. Who gives a fuck what the coach wants to do? It's all about him and it's gonna be a great time. So I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog and fight night. Crazy here, like I said, there'd be no way that I was able to bring my camera. Just like check right now. So the arena's crazy, everything's full, everyone's moving. We get our hand wraps, we have to get our gloves, we have to mash them up just to make sure that they fit nice and right. Make sure that Eric got his food, so Eric's just munching a little bit just to keep that glucose going, just like we talked about before. And right now, you know, we're about Starting in about 10 minutes, Eric's gonna go up in about two hours. We'll start to warm up real soon and then get in the ring, get ready to fight. He's feeling that trigger. So he's really feeling like that trigger finger, really heavy, he's focused, he's on point. So I'm really excited to see how he goes. I'm really excited to be ringside, just kind of cue him, make sure he's there, make sure he's on point, make sure he doesn't miss any opportunities that can just allow us to finish the fight as fast as possible, or maybe a takedown or a finish with a choke, anything like that, get that sub. Whatever it is, right now we're gonna keep going, let him finish the interview get through the warm up and then fight time. UFC fighter Eric Spicely and Spicely's a tough a tough customer man that that dude knows how to fight Fight! 
Nice. Oof. The kitchen. What a night. Crazy. You know, we didn't get the win. Shit happens. Insanely really worried for Eric on the punch. Especially when he woke up, he didn't really know where he was. So it kind of had some retrograde amnesia up to about like six days, not knowing where the fuck he was. After about 15 minutes when we left the octagon and we went to the doctor's room, stuff started coming back. And I'd say about 30 minutes later, got a good amount of it, of his memory back for those past couple of days. And roughly about 40, 45 minutes, Eric started knowing like, oh, okay, like I walked out to this and we were asking him questions that we knew, right? Oh, Eric, you know where you were yesterday? Do you know what we did on Wednesday? You know, we went to here, the trees, like, no idea what the fuck you're talking about. So even the knockout himself, oh, did I hit my head on the floor? No, you didn't, you're okay. Oh, okay, cool. Did, did I hit my head on the floor? Yeah. Did he punch me when I was down? No, Eric, no, like the ref stopped it right away. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, this is what happens in this sport and I'm really thankful and glad that he's doing okay now. Just actually went to go rinse off. Just we're gonna be with him tonight, spend time with him, be there for him, just like we have been. And when you're a corner man, when you're a friend, when you're coaching someone or not coaching, you're there with them no matter what, whatever the circumstance, win, lose, draw, whatever it is, you're there with him through thick and thin and that's how it's supposed to be. That That's how you show that you're there for them. That's how you show that you care. It's not time to say, oh, you should have done this you should have done this that's there's no fucking time for that you got to be there for your friend be there for your you become that person that they really need right now at that moment you know so that was the end of this fight week in dubai and abu dhabi since it was a mix of both i really hope you guys enjoyed it it sucks that we didn't come with the w but like i said shit fucking happened if you do have any questions please put them in the comments down below and don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos do come out the last thing I'm going to say is tomorrow is actually going to be a nice vlog day. I'm going to be going back to Dubai before my flight is back home. It's going to be the last day that I'm going to meet up with a whole bunch of friends and YouTubers and other guys that are doing a lot of fitness stuff and health. So that's it. It's your boy, fighting therapist. That's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Have a good night, guys. Ciao.